Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. In today's reading, we are going to take a look at your person's thoughts and feelings about you. It is going to be a general reading, please just be mindful of that. If you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below the video. So take a moment and think of your person here, focus on an image of your person and we'll see what their thoughts are of you today. They are coming across as a little possessive, a little obsessive, a little jealous. Mm -hmm. You might have, or they might have some stiff competition here. They want to make sure that you pick them, okay? They want to make sure that they emerge the victor, they emerge victorious, yeah. Okay, so this person definitely feels a little jealous right now. I don't know if it's because there's some sort of tension in the connection that's or some sort of friction that's causing these negative energies of um, jealousy of possessiveness here this person feels a little like a little possessive okay uh, maybe even a little obsessive of you here this is someone who is they're coming across as someone who's a little bit clingy or a little bit needy here and maybe they uh, are feeling a little bit insecure and therefore they need some reassurance here of where they're at with this with this connection um, or you know where you're at with them this is someone who i feel like is a little bit suffocating or in some ways they are projecting their insecurities onto this connection it could also be that this is how they feel feel okay so if you know there are two sides to a coin two sides to a pentacle if we flip over the coin here this is it could be how they feel they're feeling right now about you and about the situation maybe they feel a little suffocated here maybe they feel as though you know you're coming across as very strong and very forward and it's sort of making them feel very overwhelmed okay that could also be the situation this person definitely has you on their mind they are having, from what I can see, this is someone who is having a hard time. I don't know if you've asked this person some very personal questions lately, or if you've asked, you know, if you've shared with this person that you want to get to know them. I feel like there's something here that's brought their guard up, okay? And that that could be because due to a conversation you've had and, you know, you want to move things along in the connection and therefore you want to get to know them more intimately, um, it could be because this person feels threatened as well and therefore that's bringing their insecurity here to the surface. So they may feel threatened that they have other competition, okay, that they may be competing up against other suitors and competitors here who are all fighting and vying for your attention. And that's making them feel some type of way about themselves, a little insecure, a little, you know, not sure, a little doubtful. Um, some of you have had some sort of disagreement with this person, you've had some sort of tension, uh, could be recently or could be some sort of ongoing tension, right? I do see that this is someone who wants to fix things, but they don't know how. Or they don't know if it's, you know, if it's the right time to do it yet. I do feel like this is someone who wants to build on the connection. They want to make things right. They want to fix something, maybe something they said or they did. Or, you know, um, maybe there's been some sort of emerging behavioral or emotional patterns which have been hindering or suffocating this connection and as a result maybe this is someone who wants to work on themselves to you know become a better healthier version of themselves and for this connection as well someone's playing games i don't know if this is how your person sees you okay i don't know if this is someone who feels like you're not treating them seriously um, or you're not taking them seriously, or you're not treating this connection seriously. They, you know, they could be, they could feel like you're playing games with them. You're playing mind games or head games, or maybe your person is playing games with you. 
okay maybe you're the one who's got competition here when it comes to your person and maybe they're the ones who's playing mind games and head games with you just be careful take the cards as it resonates I think your person is um, you know is very I think they hold you in like high regard I think your person puts you on a pedestal and I think because they put you on this pedestal, I think what's it doing what's it doing here is that it's instantly creating this separation between the two of you because it's instantly sort of restricting them access to you because you know they think that maybe you're out of their league, they think that you're not good enough, they think that you know there's just way too much stiff competition for them to go up against. There's something here, and I feel like it's they're projecting their insecurities, truth be told. I feel like there's something here with your individual that even them feeling, you know, a little bit jealous. It just feels like they don't feel secure within themselves. Or, I don't know, maybe they have reason not to. I, I don't know what this is, actually. But there's definitely something here. You know, all behavior is motivated. So, for them to be acting a certain way, you know, it's coming from somewhere, right? Your person, your person wants to, okay, if you do have competition, if they feel threatened by competition and if they're, you know, if they're aware that you have other suitors here, it feels like your person wants to do something very sweet and thoughtful to stand out. I'm also seeing that this is an individual who is writing, oh, okay, they're, they're writing poetry about you, I think. Or you have been an inspiration for some of some sort of their creative um, work here. So, I don't know, maybe poems or maybe photography or some sort of painting. Or, if not you per se, then this connection. Okay, some something, you know, for example, if you are going through some sort of disagreement, they could be writing, they could be using that pain and heartbreak as fuel to, and as inspiration to write the next breakup song or, you know, a, a poem of some sort. But I think they're using you as an inspiration for some sort of creative outlet. I also see that I feel like your person might be falling in love with you, okay? Or at the very least, they think they are. Because the Page of Cups is almost like very fairy tale like in nature, isn't it? It's almost quite novel-esque because it's, it's almost like, you know, there's this tail like energy to the card. This is someone who I feel like wants to share something with you, okay? especially emotionally but I think they might want to open up and share their feelings with you but I see them being quite closed off in a way so that presents a bit of a conundrum here okay so this person wants to be vulnerable with you but they don't know how they want to open up and tell you how they feel but they're scared they're scared of rejection they're scared of being hurt Don't know if they're going through something here. If you are going through some sort of disagreement or disconnection, this person is feeling really low emotionally. They, they're they not doing very well. Uh, this is someone who's missing you. This is someone who feels hurt, anger, pain or betrayal. Or they feel maybe they've inflicted some of those emotions on you. Or maybe this person has been really hurt and betrayed in the past that they're scared. The reason why they're so closed off and guarded is because they're scared that you know that's they're going to make the same mistake of trusting someone who doesn't deserve their trust who will only betray them and hurt them in the end so there's there's an energy of fear with your person and where they want to take this connection all right guys and these are your messages thanks so much for watching and listening please show your support by liking sharing and subscribing to the channel bye